Hello everyone, this is Anton and I am coming to you with a, another video about uh, Craft here and, and some of their new stuff that's not really released yet, but they they have uh, people doing beta testing on it. And previously I did a video about their objects and they were going in a certain direction where they were implementing objects within the Crafts application. and. I got this email here recently and they've basically abandoned the objects direction and they're going in a different direction and they say it's based on feedback from the participants in the beta uh, that they, they released for objects. Now going through this here what they've done is they s separated the what they had in objects and now they've broken it down into really two different phases. Uh, the styling one was a different project that they kind of had going on, but tasks and collections is what they've broken out um, from what they were testing around objects. So they're giving us tasks and collections and I kind of want to go into what that looks like and you know give my thoughts on the, the collections and, and how they compare with um, objects, the objects feature before and kind of let you know, you know, my thoughts on that there. So there are a couple videos here that they've also released on YouTube. So you can go and find those um, on YouTube and take a look at those where they go through the, the task beta. And they also go through the the uh, collections beta here. So pretty good uh, videos that they have out there. And yeah, let's go ahead and dive into my craft installation here, and just talk about this a little bit. So on the what what you'll see new when you open this up, and if you are on the beta program. What you'll see now is just a task over here in the side pane and the objects is gone now. So you used to have a object section over here and I apologize for the background noise. I am outside now. I'm over at my father-in-law's and had to get a video out here. Okay, so now that the helicopter has passed by. We can go ahead, let's dive into tasks first. Just take a look at this. This is really quick and simple. Um, you get the ability now to aggregate all the tasks that are within your crafts environment into one place. This is good. I really want to see this. And I thought when they implemented the reminders feature that this was just a natural direction. Whether they were gonna do objects or not, this would be something that would be implemented. So this is here, you can come in here and you can create tasks directly from here. Um, you can schedule it, you can flag things here if you want to flag it for a certain um, due date. You can create that there. And the good thing here is that um, everything from no matter what, um, say file or page it gets created in will show up here so if i open up another page somewhere and go to this test and i come in here and let's just un uncheck this particular one and we'll uncheck that one here from this page we'll go back to tasks we can see that it shows up here and it shows that there's two tasks that are in here and we can Come in here and we can add another one so let's just say another task and it will place it in this particular page so from here maybe you can put in uh, project pages or something like that there and then you can add tasks to them you can click on it you can see them from here and you can even uh, check them off from here as well so this is very convenient if you're someone that wants to leverage tasks within Craft. Uh, I think this is a pretty, pretty good implementation of it. Um, it's pretty simple, straightforward. I think the you know I guess if I'm adding my two cents, I would probably have it in here so that you can directly uh, click on these here and also add 
say a um, reminder from this kind of quick menu or just me opening it up from here be able to add reminders to these tasks that would be a, a plus in my opinion you can also pin the documents here if you have something that you really want to stay on this on this screen you can pin it and it'll move it to these pin docs and it will just stay there and you can have multiple ones in this area um, while it's pinned it does open up a bit wider so you can come in here and I can check tasks off directly from it from here without having to click on it and do it um, like I did before now once you click on that task it does hide them so you will have to click on this icon here to bring up the menu and then you can uncheck any of that maybe you mistakenly um, uh, checked and you can also open up the document from here so you can just go directly to that document from that particular uh, area in the task area here so quick convenient I think this is going to be something that's really going to add value to people who leverage tasks within craft now moving on to collections now collection is a different beast and I think that's more so what um, you know they're they're divergent from objects um, where they're going with um, their this particular feature implementation and what they have right now so let's just open up you know I'll create a document here and this will be an example of collections right and if we come in here we can do a slash command and we can just type collection it'll insert a collection and what you get here is this table um, really you know they're calling it a collection I think it's more of a inline database and it's something that you would get like if you go into notion this is pretty much what you would get um, over in notion if you go in a fiend pro and you type database you will get this particular type of um, object within a block so I think this is more of a database or inline database um, more so than a collection because a collection in my opinion would be um, and the way I've seen it implemented in other applications is more like a smart folder where you can you can set up filters and criteria from a more of a top level uh, perspective and then everything gets aggregated into that folder or smart folder whatever you want to call it there based on the filtering criteria that you configure for the collection now you can also you know in other implementations you can still have the properties and everything uh, similar to what they had in objects uh, but what they did now is completely I think um, a 180 um, and a complete divergence of what they have for objects these are two completely different features in, in my opinion so they could have still ran with objects in the way they, they were implementing it and they could have still implemented uh, this feature for collections but call it inline database or just database in general um, and kept going with it so let's just you know it's pretty simple to see what this does you can go in here you can um, give these items in this database a name and you can come in here you can set up a tag you can add other properties and on the other properties you don't get the relationship anymore so within objects you were able to set up relationships between other objects here because objects is gone and they've gone to this more inline table feature uh, they've taken that relation out of here um, so you can't create relationships between collections now um, but you get all the other features here I, I think by default they should have maybe put in some um, some key ones for formatting like phone number or um, or um, email so something that could at least force those different types but uh, text number checkbox date URL 
and then these different uh, select and multi-select options is is pretty usable so once you come in here let's actually create a property here and we'll just um, go property one here we'll make it a text and property two and we'll just add those in there and then once you go into the actual page which is what this is when you click into it um, you get properties on here so this is nice I do like the fact that you can add pages or properties to these particular pages that are within the collection I actually thought you know and, and the way I saw collections going was that it didn't matter if the page was in a collection or not I would actually be able to add this these type of properties to the page and then the collection would be something where I aggregate one or more pages together underneath a you know one hierarchy based on a set of uh, rules so a way you can kind of use these objects um, right now or these collections as objects is a bit fractured now and so you will have to actually create say either one or more pages and I think logically trying to you know manage these things and organize these things it probably makes more sense to create a page per inline database if you're going to use these databases um, again what craft is calling collections as uh, objects so like this one here I have people and then I have a people collection in it and then I have the properties associated with that in here and then on here I have properties so I can come in here and then create separate um, properties for this particular one now a downside another downside to this and again this is still in beta so I don't know where they're going with this is that if you go into the search um, you can't really search based and filter based on any of these properties which I, I think would be a plus if that's the direction they're going um, I'm, I can actually be patient but it, I don't know if they're going that route so um, because it would really improve the search capability and also if they went that route you could say that the collection could be again one of those almost like a saved search type of thing where you search for something then you save it name it and that would be a collection of stuff within your your craft environment so yeah the collections naming of uh, this particular feature I think it's the, really the only thing that kind of seems a bit off to me but the feature itself works well it's simple right now you can come in here you, you get calculations here at the bottom that you can do these calculations are pretty simple but they are usable here so I think that's really it that I can talk about now I just started using it recently uh, this they just made it available to beta users but it's so simple that I don't think I need any more time than what I've spent on it to know exactly um, what the capabilities are for collections within craft and how to use them and again my use would be more as inline databases so that's going to be it for this video if you found value in the information that I've provided here don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and until the next time have a nice day